Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So here user AK007 asking for take file created date and use within the flow to create sub subfolders while copying the file to another SharePoint. Okay. So let's see then I need to move a specific file with the name file name to pick the files from a shared drive location and move to SharePoint folders. The folder has other files as well. While moving this to the destination SharePoint, month dash year based on the current date should be picked up, picked up and uploaded to SharePoint location. Okay, so there is another update regarding this asking when the file is dropped in the shared location, read the dates from the file name. We so it doesn't have to read the dates from the file name. Okay, so we can take uh, simply take the current date minus 30 days. Then it should copy a folder called, uh, if it's 20th April, it should copy it uh, to a folder called March 2022. All right, okay. Uh, let's start building the flow then. So for this, I'm going to use the shared location as my OneDrive. So I got OneDrive for business and uh, when a file is created okay and here i have got a flow demo folder here okay so let me go and have a look yes so that's my flow demo folder okay the next step what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add a compose so that you can know you know what are the properties available file identifier file name there are a couple of things there file content there um, you know so okay let's take the file name then and then the next step what we want to do is we want to uh, go and move that into a SharePoint location okay so for that I need to take the SharePoint connector and uh, let's see create file right i know the user wants to push that into a particular file you know um, let's see you know this is where i'm going to build this so um, and then later on we can change a couple of things okay the folder path for that okay that's the library so the sharepoint library i'm going to use doc one okay uh, then I have the file name here. Okay, that's the file name and uh, I could use the file content also then here. Here we go file content. Oh, next one file content. Right, let's save the flow now and uh, run and see what's going to happen here. Okay. Right, so this is my SharePoint document location. So what I expect here is when I dropped a file under the shared folder, it should copy it here now. Okay, so let's run the flow now. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop a file here. Okay, demo file PDF. Let's wait the flow to run now. Okay, let's uh, see whether it's triggering or not. Okay, flow ran successfully two seconds ago. So you can see, you know, the file name I dropped. Okay, that is encoded anyway, that's fine. Um, so you can see demo file.pdf. Let's have a look in SharePoint. Here it is, few seconds ago, that's been loaded. Okay, so, so far good. But what we want to do here is the user has requested. So I'm going to remove the file name now because we got the file name mapping here. So here I'm going to use um, the expression to say format date time and say add days. Remember that's a request minus 30 days of the current time UTC now. I'm going to put this expression in my video description below so that you know it will be useful. So add a days UTC, how many days we want. So I'm going to say minus 30 days. Yep, minus 30. 
and then what's the format we want okay the format I'm, I want here is uh, the mm dash y y y y let's see what we're going to get okay that's done now right and um, what I could do here is um, I'm going to delete my current file now which I copied earlier through the flow yep and now I can use the test automatically to say with recent trigger the one minute ago that's the last run and uh, run it again so let's see that's going to work or not okay okay flow ran successfully yes that's copied but I'm interested here so here we go I got March 20 uh, 22 so let's see whether I could put this under the document one slash then the output of that okay so that means I believe if the folder is there it should copy it if the folder is not there it should create the folder and copy the file uh, that's what my understanding is let's see if not we need to go and create a folder right let's delete that again okay going back here click on the test last run succeeded and yeah okay the previous run also it was succeeded so it doesn't matter I'm going to click on this and run again yeah all right okay so let's see here yeah see doc one slash so what happened here in SharePoint let's refresh it and see here we go that's created that's created the March 2022 automatically so that's good news now I'm going to drop another file let's see what's going to happen okay right let's search let's drag and drop the search report dot PDF right okay let's see the flow is running or not it takes a little bit of time sometimes so let's wait for a few seconds okay looks like flow ran successfully let's open that run history and we go again the same uh, you know the current date time minus 30 days so that's what we are going to get and then yeah it looks like I think it's copied it let's see if I go inside let me refresh this first so I should expect two files there here it is two files okay so let's recap this so we got a create file we put the document folder name slash then the folder you know it's a dynamic one using the combos of that format date with you know the other expressions as I mentioned earlier I'm going to copy the expressions under my video description hope this is useful thank you for watching my video